All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo ThinkPad Edge E420. Um, we are gonna be upgrading this um, to an SSD. So I'm not gonna be doing like a complete disassembly on this one, excuse me. All right, so the laptop looks like this. Um, we basically cloned the hard drive to an SSD already. Um, if you need a video on how to do that, I have one um, in my general computer repairs playlist. Otherwise, if you need help finding that, just let me know. All right, if you're removing the keyboard, there are like a few keyboard screws. They're labeled here. And then it looks like you can pop the keyboard out. But the customer just brought this here uh, for me to upgrade the hard drive to speed it up. So we're not going to really be doing much else. Let's go ahead and take this bottom cover off. So we're using a PH1 or JIS1 screwdriver. Um, preferably a JIS one. All right, so let's go ahead and undo all these screws that are holding this bottom cover on. Okay, just like this. You'll hear the screws click when they're out. All right, so once you get all those screws, you'll go under here and then you'll pop this out just like that. And here you can see we have access to the two sticks of RAM, the BIOS, CMOS, real-time clock, RTC battery, whatever you wanna call that the wireless card and the hard drive, which is under here. Okay, um, of course you can also remove the battery if you want. You just slide this tab over here to the unlock. You have to hold it because it's spring loaded and then you can pull this back. Um, so you can take that out without taking out the rest of the stuff. The battery, is there a model number on here? Um, they have like FRU part numbers and um, ASM part numbers here. So there's that 42T4755 and 42T4756, right? I don't see any other model numbers. Um, you could also just search um, E420 uh, battery and then just make sure it looks like this, All right? So there we go. We're going to put this back on and then put that back in the lock position. All right, there's another slot here, which I'm not 100% sure what that's for. It kind of looks like a MSATA port, um, but it could also be like for um, a wide area network or one of those mobile network kind of cards. Anyways, we're gonna remove these two screws here. Okay, if you wanted to remove the um, CD drive, optical drive, you can remove this one screw that's underneath these two wires here. Okay, so you can kind of just go between the two wires and take that screw out and then you can pop this out. You can actually replace the CD drive with a um, CMOS bio, not CMOS, sorry, um, with a second like hard drive slot to put another hard drive or SSD in there. All right, after we remove those two screws, we can go ahead and use this to help pull the hard drive back. So just slide it back like that. If for some reason this tab breaks off or you can't do it that way, um, you can try using a screwdriver or something to kind of pull on this metal, on these two metal brackets here, or you can try and go up here and sometimes that'll work. You can pull on it from this and there you go, just like that, okay? So there we go. This is the hard drive. It's a two and a half inch SATA hard drive. I don't know why they wrote Windows 10 on here. I guess they had this worked on back on September 15, 2011. So wow, this thing is 11 years, more than 11 years old. Okay, anyways, we're gonna take these four screws off. I don't know if this video is gonna help anyone because this computer is so old. Um, the RAM, is that DDR3 or DDR2? Okay, let's take out the RAM and see as well. So we're gonna take these four screws out and then we're gonna go ahead and um, put the SSD in. Hard drive comes out pretty easily, just like that, four screws, and then you can kind of plop this thing out just like this. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna take the SSD, we're gonna put that in its place. All right, make sure the screw mounts line up and get those four screws in. All right, pretty simple. All right, and because this is an older laptop, um, I don't think the SATA supports like super, super fast speeds. So don't worry about getting the best of the best SSDs for this. Um, Kingston SSDs, as well as um, Crucial, um, are very reliable. I haven't really had any of them fail, so yeah. Or if I have, it's like one, and I've installed like so many of these, so yeah. Okay, so I highly recommend these, especially for the price. All right, there we go. And then we just take this, 
get it lined back up, slide it into place, all right, and push that in. And there you go, the hard drive has been upgraded to an SSD. If you want, you can also just do a clean install of Windows onto this. Um, if you're wondering how do you boot from like a Windows USB installer, um, all you do is while you're booting it up, press F12. Or if you want to see the whole boot menu, you can press enter while it's starting up and you can go from there. All right, so let's get this lined up for a better thumbnail here. Not like there's much removed on it, but there you go. Okay, I don't know how many people this video is going to help. It's not really, it's a really old model. Anyways, yeah, Bio CMOS RTC battery here. Um, it's a pretty common model with the little plug thing on it. So just make sure you plug it in the right way. The red wire is closer to here and the black wire is closer to the center of the laptop. The RAM comes out like this. You pull these two tabs to the side and it pops up. Then you can go ahead and pull the stick out. And this is actually DDR3. So I'm surprised. 11 years ago they were using DDR3, I guess. So PC3, 10600S. All right. Um, but yeah, this laptop's really old. It's a second generation Intel um, processor. So it is pretty old. All right. We got all of that back in. Not really much else to do. Um, fan is kind of blocked off a little bit. Um, they have it like going like... In, in one end and coming out the other um, because I haven't used this laptop to really pit and paid attention. I don't know which way the air is actually blowing, but um, yeah, not really much to it. Let's go ahead and put this cover back on. It goes on at an angle like this, okay? And then you can just click everything back in. All right, after that, of course, get the screws back on. Oh, if you wanted to see also under here, um, there's another uh, screw here for the keyboard if you're going to be popping the keyboard out. But again, I'm not going to be making a video of that. But it's likely similar to the other ones where you, after you remove those screws, you can pop it out from the top. Okay. But I don't want to mess around with that and then risk damaging anything else since the customer just wanted to speed it up. Alright, so we're going to put this all back together, power it back up, make sure everything is working right. If this video helped you out, hopefully you guys can like, subscribe, and share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. All right, every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Okay, so we're gonna power this up. I hear it turning on. Screen's powering on, you can see. All right, and you can see it's booting up. So I'm gonna have to put this out of view because it's gonna show the customers login information and sometimes they don't want people to see that excuse me um, but yeah that's pretty much all there is to it hopefully this video helped you guys out it's actually booting up um, you can see and yeah I'll see you all in the next one all right let's drop this bite